Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Crash 4. This time I'm going to take you through one of the longest levels in the game, Crash Landed. The intro to this level is very reminiscent of one of the snow levels in Crash 2, so if you know the name of that level, feel free to leave it in the comments. Once you break all those boxes, you should have a total of 7. We're going to skip the stopwatch because this is not a time trial. And we're going to start our way through this stage. You do need the blue gem, which can be found in Dragon On. By completing that level without breaking a single box, you'll be given the blue gem at the end. In this section here, you want to move across these floating turtle platforms. And then there is a one-up box sort of hidden back here. So you want to come over here and grab that. All right. Once you have that, you want to just wait it out until you can access the checkpoint over here. And we'll say the first time that I got to this section, along with a couple other sections in this level, I had no idea what I was even looking at. So, shout outs to Toys for Bob for making some of the most creative Crash Bandicoot levels ever. Alright, so, heading up here, there's a flame box. You want to pop that before the flames turn back on. And then bounce on this crate a few times. You need a lot of fruit to get to 80% in this stage, so I advise you to get it all very early. Okay, wait for this flame vent to subside. And then kill this space shrimp. Jump over here to grab this box. Now it's time for the first vehicle section. First box is over here. Just jump over and get that. Then hug the right wall. And you gotta do a couple jumps. If anybody knows the name of this slug thing, let me know. For this first section, you want to stay down. Hit these two. This one, go to the right. And then hold left to slide back over. That should be your second Aku mask. For this section, we need to go up. And then hold right. And then boost and jump. And grab these two boxes here. Once we land, we want to jump a second later to grab this box, and then jump. And then as soon as you land, jump and hold right to get that second box. From here, you want to start falling down. we got to grab four boxes on the way. You want to hold right here until you hit the box, then hold right again. And then after that, you should have 55 boxes. We're going to hit this checkpoint and ignore everything else here. You can smash everything and get the triple mask power up. But I will say this, every single opportunity you have for a triple mask power-up is basically a waste of time. Um, they're not very effective in this stage. Okay, so we're going to slide down these sort of ice cream sandwich looking platforms. Be very careful of whatever the hell these things are. They will kill you. Jump over the nitro. I recommend jumping over all these crates your first and second time over because they do cover up blowholes. Hit the switch, and then make your way back. And we gotta grab the four boxes that were wireframes, but they are now solid. Just carefully jump over these boxes one more time. And we're gonna break these. And then you can finally break these four boxes here. Okay, slide down here, and then walk into the screen. Watch out for the starfish. Break these three boxes. This will give you a super mask, but again, it's basically useless because you're gonna spend the whole duration of it sliding on these platforms. So what you want to try to do is go up slope as long as possible and then go down and jump across. That's sort of the best way to do this, sort of go in an arc. And we're going to go up this one and then we want to try to stay up on this one as long as possible and then we can jump over. You can cleanly break all these crates, just nestle yourself in between the flame box and the regular box and you can just spin twice and get everything. This section here, you want to carefully double jump over these giant dudes. There are two boxes that we need to break. The perspective here is a little weird, so it might take you a few tries to get, but don't be nervous, just take your time. The closer you get to the cave where they are spawning, uh, the quicker you're gonna have to react, so I recommend going back over to the left. Uh, that'll give you a couple more seconds to react. All right, break this flame box and the box underneath, and then you want to break this box here, double jump over this pit carefully, break the flame box, and then we're gonna hit the TNT fuse and then jump onto the blue platform and ride back to the main level. At this stage, once the TNT box explodes, you should have 83 crates. Okay. Alternatively, if you broke all of this, once you do, uh, you should have, I think, 95, I think. Um, something like that. So carefully jump on this box, and then you can kill everything in here if you'd like. And then we're just going to spend the rest of our super mask sliding down a slope here. Let's go ahead and break this box. Double jump to safety. Break this box, and you can double jump over the pit. And then we're going to head to the bonus with 96 boxes in tow. All right. So this bonus is really tricky, but a lot of fun. So we're going to break all these boxes manually. And then we're going to jump on these bounce boxes four times each. Three, four, one, two, three, four. And then if the timing is right, you can break them at the same time. Otherwise, you just want to watch for them to pulse. 
and then break them after that so you don't get caught in the flame vent. Swoop on down to that wireframe section to open those, and then hit the switch, jump down, and then go back up. And then what you want to do is just tap right on the D-pad, and then slowly slide over. And once you feel like you are, you know, just below that yellow platform, jump to make sure, and then flip. This will save you all the time in the world of trying to, like, manage to jump over that bouncing box safely and not get hit by the nitro. Just align yourself with the top platform, and then go that way. With this fuse here, you want to hit it and then crouch on this box, and then do a belly flop, switch gravity, come down here and break these. Okay, there's another set of TNT right here. I'm gonna grab this Wumpa Fruit Trail here, hit one of the fuses, and then quickly bounce over here. Once you break these, flip gravity again so you can land on the nitro switch. Wait for the flame box to subside. Come over here, and then come over here to safety to buy yourself an extra second. Once you're ready to go, Come back over here, break these three last crates, and exit the bonus. At the end of the bonus, you'd have 136 crates, well on your way to your second Wumpa Fruit Gem. Now, what I recommend doing here is taking an intentional hit if you have two Aku Masks. And the reason for that is because we are very quickly going to come across another Aku Mask, and if you get it, it could really mess you up. So I just recommend taking a hit. Um, you can either do that with these flame vents, blow up one of the nitro boxes, just take a hit. This way you do not activate the super Aku Mask, because again, it's pointless. Okay, so drop here. We're going to take our hit, and then we're going to go back up. If you don't have, you know, two Aku Masks at this point, don't worry about doing that. You only need to do that to prevent yourself from getting the super mask. And the reason for that is because right over here, we have a bounce box, and I have not tested this myself, but I don't believe you can actually bounce on this box with a mask. All right, so these these air vents, these jet streams, there is a bug with these. It only happens if you take the left one, and it has happened on PS4 numerous times for me. Basically, if you take the left one, your character will be stuck in a constant state of being on ice, um, and you just you have no control over your momentum. So take the right vent, and in the inverted version, take the left vent. Okay, so with this gravity mask, we're gonna have the hidden gem. So flip up right here into this secret room and then grab the hidden gem. Careful not to touch those enemies. Come back down, flip onto the ceiling, and then we're gonna come over here and break this box. Careful with the flame vent. Drop back down to the floor, and then very carefully take out uh, this bounce box and the regular box, and then trigger the TNT. Be careful, because there is a starfish right on the other side of it. Coming up on where the flashback tape is, so if you've made it this far without dying, it'll be at the end of this Wumpa Fruit Trail right here. This will be the flashback tape. Go ahead and break these boxes really quick, and then we need to come over here, wait for the flame vent to subside, and then drop down. The nitro switch crate is right there, along with a secret box above it. So flip gravity, and then quickly flip back again so you don't die. From here, flip gravity, go over to the other platform, flip it again, and then drop and flip into this little cutout here. Get these three boxes, exit and flip again. Drop down, bounce on this five times. Then these two bounce crates, this is really scary, but you're going to jump and flip and then land on the other side of these crates. So hit these five times each. And then once you're about to break this one, get ready to go left and then flip and then do a double jump to safety. You can slide this box or jump on it. And from here, you just want to wipe your hands, get ready for the final section of this level. And if you've gotten this far, you can do this. I believe in you. It's very hard. This took me about a day and a half to do without dying or without missing anything and dying. Okay, so starting off right away, we have two boxes here. Go to the left past the flame vent, and then hit this box and charge, and then break these three. Stick to the right, because there's two stacks of boxes. There's one here, and then go to the left, break these two, start going to the right, jump. Okay, then just fall onto this, jump left, jump left again, charge and jump. Great. Hit these two, jump after you hit the second one to get over the starfish and break the box on the other side. Break this, jump over here, and now we're gonna reach the first checkpoint. Okay, it's gonna get crazy. Hold left, break this box, jump, and then jump again and follow the trail, just hold right to break all four of those. Jump, break this one, break this one, follow the trail, it'll lead you into another box. Jump, jump immediately, jump immediately, jump immediately. Now break this, jump to the right, and hit the checkpoint, 218 boxes about 20-something to go. Hit that one, 
Just hold left to avoid this guy, and now things get really crazy. We're gonna drop. Do not immediately hold left, otherwise you will hit the wall. Once you hit the platform, hold left. Jump all the way to the right. Jump again, break this box. Jump, jump into the jet stream and hold right. Break these three. Jump over the starfishes. Break that one. Jump, jump again. Jump one more time. Jump again. Jump carefully. And then we're gonna jump over a pit. Break this box. Follow this trail, hold right and jump. Break these four. Break the final box, jump over the starfish, and then just keep jumping on the platforms. And you will finish the level with all 234 boxes. This is hands down, so far, one of the hardest levels in this game. It took me, no joke, I'd say eight hours to do Deathless. I was up till five in the morning one day and then like nine o'clock the next day and it, it just took me forever. And the inverted version is no different. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Crash 4, subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you enjoyed this video a whole lot and you wanna support the channel, you can become a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.